Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for a little bit of a different vlog. The light in here isn't fantastic, I've parked the wrong way in the sun. I'm just waiting for Christopher but I'll get onto that in a second. We are heading off to Exmoor for four nights. Today is currently Thursday and we're coming back on Monday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, four nights. Just had to double check that. Now, last year, you may have remembered that I went to Dartmoor for my birthday. And this year we thought, oh, we'll go to Exmoor. But we just didn't get it organised in time. We just, it would have been a mad rush to try and find somewhere and book it and everything. So we actually booked this place on my birthday for the end of November. So I am very excited. I've been to Exmoor. I want to say I've been a couple of times actually with my mum and dad when I was younger. And both Dartmoor and Exmoor are beautiful. But Exmoor is obviously just that little bit, well quite a lot bigger so I can't wait to go and yeah relive a few things that I did when I was a child I say a child probably more like when I was a teenager anyhow we are so much later getting on the road than what we planned I've ridden this morning got all the stables done and ready for this evening for my mum and dad because they are obviously kindly looking after them whilst I'm away first time that they've looked after Addie oh I hope she's a good girl I have said make sure obviously she's still young so don't teach her any bad habits whilst I'm away please <laughs> make sure that she stays her nice polite self she'll be fine mum and dad will be fine it'll be all good she's actually going to enjoy a few days off because she has it's been a lot going on for her ever since she's got to me like don't get me wrong she's only in work like four days a week really majority of that has been hacking so i think it's actually going to do her the world of good just to have this weekend off almost a week off just to sort of allow that all go in and all process um so yeah i think that's going to do her the world of good i took spritey out as i said this morning so she's been hacked she will have a nice couple of days off she's got a weekend off too but as i said we were very late leaving we were planning to leave at half past 10 didn't actually get on the road until 12 o'clock <laughs> and now we are currently in Tiverton we haven't even arrived at where we're staying yet so we're staying near Dolverton which obviously I can show you all of that when we get there I think this light is not the best is it Chris basically we're going walking obviously quite a lot that's kind of what you do when you go to Exmoor and he's only got trainers he has no wellies no walking boots nothing so we just went into Tiverton town centre somebody recommended to come here X Valley X Valley? No. Waterman's... Ugh. So we've come here which is Waterman's Country Supplies and he's walking back. He's got some walking boots! Presents! Woohoo! What did you go for? Oh, that's for the classic, you know, dad, styly walking trainer. Cool as you like. Nice! They look massive. Yeah, I feel massive. <laughs> <laughs> ah, finally though, you've got a decent pair. And they're waterproof. And they're waterproof. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. You've been we've been together what? Eight years? Oh, yeah. Eight years. They look so cool. And you've needed a pair like that for a long time. But you keep telling me not to buy them as a present at Christmas because you don't want to receive them as a present, but now you've ended up just buying them yourself. Yeah. Anyhow, better than just wearing trainers all around. Right, so we now get to our destination. But yeah. I'm going as well, 70% off. No! It cost me 46 pounds, they were 95. Boom! Let's get on the road. We've got 20 minutes till we get to our destination where we're staying! I'm so glad that I've got an electrician now. <laughs> We've just walked back in, bringing everything in, and then I'll show you guys around. Not that there is much to show around, it's really cute, it's really like, it's just, just a little place, a little cottage for us, which is just perfect. Um, and something just tripped as we came back in. 
Chrissy. You set the breaker. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm glad I got an electrician. Anyway, the kettle boiled and I was like, I need a coffee. Woohoo! We got lights back. Not very promising though, is it? <laughs> I might worry about that for a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna make a quick coffee. Are you okay? She's doing her job, that's for sure. She's just absolutely wired. Good girl, here. Yeah. No. Good girl, stay. 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 <laughs> Come in. This is perfect for you. Come here. You've got something stuck to you. Come in. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Actually, calm down a little now, haven't you? <laughs> Thank goodness. Tuck on in. Did you say screw me? <laughs> you're not wanting to wait because <laughs> you're starving. Me too. I'm starting not to swear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The vlog much appreciates it. <laughs> Oh, funny how you've just woken up. You've been sleeping the whole time. <laughs> mm, Good morning, guys. Now the following morning. I can't quite remember where I finished. I think just the food. Enjoyed the food, didn't we? Yeah, we did. You had a nice sleep. You were absolutely shattered after being so wired on that walk yesterday, weren't you? And I've gotten up, I want to say early, but not too early. Um, just did a little quick tidy around from last night. So this is the lounge, TV, gas fire. You're falling off my lap, um, so far. And yeah, it's really cute and just ideal. Ideal little base for us, really. Um, we've got Adam and Kaz coming up they're coming up early evening which is really exciting um and yeah as i was saying i've just gotten up i've made coffee taken one up to chris and i'm currently editing <laughs> i really want to try and get this vlog out for this evening so i haven't got much left to do she says i've got half an hour's worth of footage to edit down it's fine edit that i think the doggy wants to go for a wee so i'm going to take her out quickly Hopefully get this finished, have some breakfast, and then off to see the lovely Jess, who actually now lives in Exmoor, um, actually lives in Dolverton, which I didn't realise. She's actually six minutes away from me, and she messaged me on Instagram. She was like, oh my goodness, you were actually so, so close. And she wasn't like, literally six minutes away. So we are popping over there to have a cup of tea, cup of coffee with her this morning. So that is very exciting, and meet her two boys. Uh, yeah, which will be absolutely lovely, and one of the things that I love about Instagram is like meeting people through it so yeah excited not the best poached eggs in the world a lot of holiday sauce the pepper comes out quite quick but it's made it's edible it'll be fine there's always coffee and OJ so we have had so far a wonderful morning so last night Jess from Jessica on Exmoor so she lives obviously up here as her name on Instagram. Make sure you go give her a follow because she is the most loveliest of ladies and I have met her several times at Badminton, Rockingham, recently saw her at Bicton 
and she is she's just so so lovely and she invited us around for morning tea coffee today or any time of the weekend to be honest but it worked out really well she was off today obviously adam and kaz aren't here yet and i was like oh we'll head over tomorrow we haven't got huge plans we are obviously off to task steps now to have a little walk but we could have worked around her so yeah we went and saw her this morning met her gorgeous two boys oscar and arnie arnold and by the way i generally thought she, when she said the boys are across the road i thought she meant her children are you joking? I'm not even joking. <laughs> no. Her, <laughs> they are our children, like Nala's our child. <laughs> um, we won't be invited back anyway, so. After the dog pooed on the floor. So she has got a lovely, she's just moved down from Leicestershire. You're staying to the right hand side. Sorry, I'm trying to be navigator at the same time and not. We walked down here yesterday, so in the dark, we came down yeah. there. We walked across there to the really pretty white bridge, which I couldn't vlog because it was dark. So we're just seeing actually now in the daylight where we just walked along. Anyhow, yeah, went and saw Jess and she has just, they about six weeks ago moved into this most beautiful, we called it like a manor house, farmhouse. It's almost, yeah, it's bordering on a manor house. It, it's massive. It's six bedrooms, but it is beautiful it does need some work doing but it is livable obviously because she and her partner Darren is living there but it is oh I'll be honest it's what my dreams are made of that is my house isn't it nice. would you like something like that yeah. yay oh so we do have the same taste um but yeah it's just so so gorgeous they renovated their last house so i am very excited just said to come and visit again and see the progress that they've made because they are i know what they're like they're going to make that house look absolutely perfect and yeah it's and we've also got dibs on an airbnb there yeah yes <laughs> but we're now off i've just noticed that my battery is low on my camera i hope i've got another battery with me and that there's not in something up the room if not i'll be back to the trusty phone which i think this vlog is going to be quite hard and i apologize that it is a little bit disjointed but i don't want to spend my whole break holiday away vlogging absolutely everything um do you want to enjoy it and oh, just it's just little roads like this like where the little river is it's it's all just so pretty. We're gonna go onto the moor in a minute. We've got nine minutes until we arrive at Tar Steps, which is a lovely circular walk. Jess has just said that it's really lovely too. And then there's a nice pub there as well. Might have a little spot of lunch. And then I think by the time we've done all of that, should only get back to meet Adam again. Yeah, excited! Um, and I can't wait to see how wired Nala is again. I've got to admit, she is a little bit unsettled, isn't she, being away? Yeah. I don't know why, I don't, like in the place, she's just, she can't find anywhere that, I think we do need to bring her cage in and her bed in, just so that spot. she's got a little spot and she knows something like what it is. I've never seen her like that before. It's a, she's got no little den to go to. A little den, yeah, very true. She likes her little, Safe little spot. safe spot yeah but even with us that is weird anyhow we'll sort that out later um she's got peaches coming later so she'll love that oh that's gonna be fun when they, <laughs> when they first arrive but yeah anyway we're heading off to tar steps now for a nice little walk and a pub lunch so um yeah show you around tar steps i don't know whether i'm gonna recognize it or not mum said to me earlier on the phone she was like oh that tar steps oh lovely lovely and i'm like oh have i been there with you before I'll have to wait and see whether my memory remembers or not. You can tell you're on the moor. Already had to make a little detour of the cults. There's a little herd of ponies. Thanks, more ponies than they are. Just the cutest. So, so cute, so we just parked over there. <laughs> Two miles away from me. I'm coming to see the puppies. Loads of them.
is pretty chilly. Freezing. It is pretty freezing. I always didn't think about wearing a hat. I'm very glad I did. Okay, so we have arrived at Tar Steps. Stop got distracted. I'm trying to say stopped Stop got stopped stopped getting distracted by the ponies. Do you know what I mean? I can't think of how I want to word that. Anyhow, and we're walking down to Tar Steps. So I didn't actually quite realise that there's like a proper little National Trust car park. So we've just paid and displayed. And then we're headed on down here, which looks very nice. Nana is loving it. Again, I don't think I recognise this at all, but how beautiful is that scenery? Oh. I actually love coming to the mall. We said this on the way out, didn't we, about the colours like with it being autumn that you've got all the beautiful om omtominal om to oh, I can't speak. <laughs> what's the word what are you trying to say omtominal omtominal autumnal autumnal colours autumn colours yeah it's it is a word. a word it is a word autumnal autumnal I'm sure it's something along those lines sure it is anyway seeing all the autumn oh, colors all the browns the leaves are falling off ah. the tree walking down through the oh here we go the dog's gone hold on i got a little whistle here somewhere oh glow are happy yay you're a good girl and sit whoa good girl come on good girl no. She would like some of your banana. Okay, anyways, we've arrived at Tar Steps. We're going for a nice little walk. I think there's a circular one that we can do. And I'm loving all the autumn colours. Boom, done in 30 seconds and not. You're straight in. That must be freezing. How deep is it? Oh. Stop going in the funnel bit, that's harder for you. <laughs> Even in the rain, it's still super pretty. Hiding already. Just while the hail passes, you know. Uh. Oh, puppy, what's the matter? We're in the dog park. Take me home. Mama! Just sitting with us. What are we doing? It actually is hay, or I can see it on your coat. The tail's still going, though. What are you looking for? I'm trying to get up there, I think. I don't know. Mama! Right in there. <laughs> Right. Ready? Ready. March on. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore they fall and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer Kidnap me Take me back All the way back To them days Running around In a gown and a crown Barefoot Fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer, kidnapped me Take me back, all the way back to the day Blame 
blame Kaz. Blame Kaz for what? The rain. The rain. So it hasn't rained since we've been up here, but Kaz has turned up today and it's peed it down all day. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, we've just been into the tar farm and had a little drink. Not gonna lie, if we had been 15 <laughs> minutes earlier, we would have been having lunch. We just had a pint and she's coming. Oh, I thought you were gonna come running between us and you didn't. But Chris has just informed me, when we saw the Exmoor ponies earlier, somebody lost the camera. This camera. Uh, it's only lost if they can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't actually tell me. And I even walked up to him when I saw, <laughs> and I was saying about his sunglasses and he said, oh, I'm gonna have a carry on little walk around. I was like, I'm going back to the car, I'm cold. It was because he had to go finding my camera. <laughs> Because I've given it to him to hold. I can't believe that. None the wiser. I really wasn't. I really wasn't. But I'm glad you did find it because not only have I got our Rexmoor trip on this camera so far, I've actually got my Vlogmas <laughs> 2 on here as well that I haven't exported out yet. So I would have been. Looking with me. <laughs> no. I would have been getting in the car, driving off, and leaving you there. <laughs> I'd have found it eventually. Yeah. I'm pretty lucky actually. It took have... 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you lucky that a pony didn't stand on it? Oh, behave. <laughs> Anyways, we're back up to the little walk, back up to the car, and we're going to get some soup. And we're going to head back to our little place and we're going to have some soup and crusty bread. And I feel like that's so much. Some olives. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this weather, I'm freezing. I'm not usually one to complain about being cold or the rain or any of the weather, but today I'm really cold and I just... <sighs> so I fancy getting a nice chunky soup, nice chunky bit of bread. Go and have that and then shortly Adam and Kaz will be arriving. I'm sure you two really want to know about your chunky bread. <laughs> now home change of clothes, everything's on heaters to dry out. I'm all snugly warm again now. This is actually my camp top. <laughs> and I've got my soup. Mm -mm -mm. Carrot and coriander, which Chris is already tucking into. Nice. My favourite. What is your favourite soup? I said you were going past super food. Oh, it's just liquid, so there's also chicken dippers that are in the oven at the moment. <laughs> tell people that. <laughs> what do you mean? I just fancy like it's that's kind of wintry walky food. To be honest, I'm not actually overly hungry, but I bad. think soup. It's doing the job. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Because it warms you from the inside. And then we got some mature cheddar and jalapeno bread, which I do feel like I should have toasted. To be honest, but no, it's fine. Is it? Is it right? Yay! So yummy, yummy, yummy. Nala's had a little friend arrive, haven't you? And that's who you'd rather be with right now. But you can't go in and eat her food. So Peaches has arrived along with her owners. Cousin Adam! Hey guys! Um, I'll probably say been here a little while, but as I've said, this vlog is very disjointed because I'm trying not to vlog the whole entire time. Nala, leave Peaches eat her food in peace, please. Oi, yours is over here, isn't it, Nala? I know! Look at her! I can help you out. If you need any help, just let me know. I'm here for backup. I got your back! I got your back! <laughs> Anyhow, we are planning on going out for some food. We might end up at the same place that Chris and I went last night at the Bridge Inn, but I obviously cannot go out in my pajamas, so I better go and get changed because I've done my makeup, that's one thing. Whilst we've been here chatting, eating a few crispies, have a little pre drink. Are you okay? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> oh, wonky. She's throwing some shapes. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get changed. He's got a bit of a mark on his back, right? Are you okay, Pete? <laughs> good girl. Quite properly. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, mate. <laughs> so Adam has gone for a pie, steak and ale pie. Kaz has gone for fish.
fish cakes and prawns. Yeah, the, the, the pepper's not working. One prawn? Eat me! Chris has gone for the same as last night and gone for another chicken burger, but you've missed out. The chutney. The chutney, the red onion yes. chutney. You didn't quite fancy that this evening. No, no. Yes. Scraped most of it out last night, to be fair. <laughs> and I have gone for the chicken Caesar salad. Yum, yum, yum. I'm actually quite excited. It looks pretty good. lost um, so apologies but you know <laughs> chef Chris cooking up a storm oh this storm has come to you my friend <laughs> <laughs> want some beans want some beans beans yeah because you bought Heinz beans I'm a beans fan oh. <laughs> bean connoisseur over there Get your beans! Break your beans! Oh. 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 Look at that! <laughs> Kaz doesn't want too many beans. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> what she's doing. <laughs> chef says, chef goes. It's only one size. <laughs> Can be. can be now. Yeah. Anyone more beans than that? Too excited in it before I actually you know, took a photo, <laughs> but I didn't video. <laughs> Thanks very much, Christopher. Good work, bro. Good work. Happy customers mm -hmm. from this side of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we are all in and ready to go on a little adventure. Okay. On time, can I add? <laughs> yes, you are on time. Eleven oh two. Woohoo! Yes. Right, we are off to Limmouth and Limmouth. I think something like that. Anyhow, it's about 40 minutes, no, 50 minutes away. So, uh, yeah, I'm designated driver, so I'll talk to you when we're there. <laughs> it's a bit windy, but we've already stopped because there is a lot of cars parked all up the road. And I think it's the hunt is out. We saw a lot of horse boxes too. You probably can't actually hear me because of all the wind. How beautiful. We have arrived at, did we determine that we're at Lynmouth? Lynmouth! Woohoo! And we're going to have a little walk down. So there is actually, the road, the road is shut because of a fallen tree. We have a storm this weekend, which I think everybody has got. Some people have been lucky and had snow. We haven't got snow. However, we're just walking down. This is to Waters Meet, which is actually a na national... Hallelujah! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> It is actually National Trust, but it's closed at the minute because of the storm, but still able to obviously walk down. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm hoping that it will just lead us all the way down to actual Limba. I would have thought so. I think this is the place I've seen on the BBC. Pretty sure of it. I think there's like a little tea garden thing, but it looks pretty. Don't chuck stuff at my bag. <laughs> what have you done? This way it's fine. It's so pretty! Hiya. Loving your hats guys. Little shout out to Equalite. <laughs> Where? Mm. <laughs> How weird. Yeah. Free water. Drunk from the holy well. <laughs> and I was like, what are you all doing? What is it? Lynn Rock Fountain. The company claimed that they had the purest water in the world. How cool is that? No way.
we have reached our destination. It is rather windy. We were very sheltered, which actually I think for today's weather was the best kind of walk that we could have done. So we're just walking down through the little village, the cute little shops. Not, to be honest, not everything is open, but I think that's because of the weather. The dog is very excited still. I thought she was going to be tired, but she's not. And yeah, it's just really cute and quaint, just as I remember it. Okay, so I bought a couple of souvenirs. One that suits Christopher. <laughs> what are you talking about? Although I think that needs to say a week. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Three days. And I thought a day without wine probably wouldn't kill me, but why risk it? <laughs> oh, they are. Oh. I literally picked them up. Maybe it was last a day, maybe it was last a lifetime. <laughs> Bit more than a day with some people. <laughs> yeah, the size generous. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to carry these back. No, I'm not, because I've got a little pet back. Woohoo! She's soaking. Spot picked out everything at the castle. Oh, and then I'm like, nah! And then it's nah, shut. Kind of it's shut. They closed the castle, so I'm like, Nin, like, right, now I need to come up with another plan. <laughs> oh my god. Can we have a boat, Yeah. <laughs> Mixedologist, I Mixedologist. like it. Where's the one? Just saying that uh, Chris is the cook and Adam is the mixologist. <laughs> Hey, I'm about to go in for my ooh, about to go in for my first sip. <gasps> With something else that I actually haven't even vlogged about yet, but today's been a very good day. <laughs> Cheers! Oh, that's nice. What do you call that? French uh, martini. French martini. French martini. Ooh, oh, I've got a top up. I don't think I need it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm giddy from alcohol or I'm giddy from just a day, to be quite honest with you, but it's been a very good day. You would have seen the little snippets already. I was a little bit shell-shocked, I can't lie, and speechless when I literally 
had no words. I just didn't know what to say. I still don't know what to say now, but I think these guys are probably all getting fed up now about the whole engagement. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Cheers. Embrace it, baby. But yeah, I might actually just tuck in and told the big wide world or told the gram or mum's no well Chris's mum actually <laughs> everyone else knew except for me <laughs> yeah time to have a few drinks and to celebrate an amazing day ah! and I'm getting loads of messages and I keep going like this to read them <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, please. It's all gone. Thank you. For my latte. Oh, thanks, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> Coffees. Excuse me. That's the end of a human. Take a picture. The <laughs> phone took ages to focus on your face then. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it's now Sunday morning. We've had our breakfast, as you've seen, a lush toasty, and we've now driven over to Dunster, so we are having a little look around the castle, which is very, very exciting. It's nice weather, the wind's dropped. It's not like I've got to talk really close to the mic anymore, but I am very excited. We're going to have a little walk around. Everything's all open because it was <laughs> shut yesterday because of... What was the storm called? Ooh. The storm does have a name, but I can't think what the name is. Um, sun is coming out. It's still pretty chilly, but it's nice. Wrapped up again. And uh, let's go have a little tour and walk around this beautiful castle. I love things like this. I remember doing the castle over in Dublin. And yeah, I love like history things and looking around and... We're not allowed in the castle with the doggies, but we can take it in turns. So I'm thinking two of us watch the doggies, two of us go round and then do a little swap a -roo. But I'm afraid you're going to have to be on the lead though, Nala. Hey, I'm a good girl. <laughs> We're all getting involved now. <laughs> do you think Nala's going to fit in that pile? <laughs> <laughs> Can I find it? Find it! <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> This is like when we uh, go to walk across country course. We're like, right, where's the loop that we're going? <laughs> we got our different courses, different colours there. <laughs>
photos and they really look pretty pretty area um, and open the bubbly and yeah it's sunk in a little bit more this morning but still everybody's still not quite but yeah gonna have a nice couple of little photos and some bubbly if uh, Emily can get into it I've never taken this long <laughs> ready you going for it yeah you got take that off power. first take it off and then just give it a little wiggle you've got a little way to get it out yeah Oh my goodness! They pointed at me! <laughs> there you go. No, no, let it go okay, slowly. Let it go slowly. There you go. Oh yeah! Do it towards the grass so we can catch it. Directly up. Don't hold it. It's gonna pop! It's not gonna pop! Shake it! Push it! Don't shake it! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not a fetch. <laughs> <laughs> setting and now we'll come in little coffee and cake and this is Nala's birthday treat we got some doggy ice cream on the coldest day <laughs> we've got them some ice cream <laughs> well we've got one each you're gonna open Nala's babe it's really nice it's quite in it dog's gonna Tem eat himself tempted to eat himself <laughs> yeah <laughs> quite a lot but he did go for you a cake so got added vitamins and omega-3 yeah that'd be <laughs> What's it smell like? It smells a bit funky. Can't tell you. I can't smell it. No, I can't smell it. Has it got like okay. dog in it? Alright, puppies. Some supplements. Maybe I'll try some. Okay, are we ready? Doggy treats. Oh, nom nom yeah. nom. Nada. <laughs> what do you think? It's going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get brain fees though. <clears throat> Nothing worse than brain <laughs> fees. <laughs> <laughs> He's had nice peaches. <gasps> Crikey, that's taking you a while. Might have to leave it on the floor for you. That's never quiet when you enjoy our cake. <laughs> what a night. Do you think they'll get brain freeze like us? I would have thought so. It's only lit, isn't it? I don't know. It's now our turn to have a little walk in. Apparently it's very grand, which for a castle you can probably imagine, but we get to go in and, and explore. Eek. I love this. This reminds me of Dublin, doesn't it? Because <laughs> it's a castle. I love a castle. <laughs>
apparently meant to be haunted. Yeah, they said don't bring dogs in it because they freak out. No. So it said it's not. <gasps> Don't they know you'd have that that you kind of want to just to see that they like yeah. it does actually <laughs> make them go a bit crazy. <gasps> Didn't know that. <laughs> of a little mini break, little holiday. Oh, nice, Christo in the bin. We've got to leave. It's time to go home, so we're all packed up. The car is literally just outside and we are ready to go. I said to Chris this morning, I'm sad. I don't want this weekend to be over. But I also thought that I haven't actually given you a tour around this place. And don't get me wrong, now all our stuff's out, it looks a lot cleaner. Because um, <laughs> we have, no repeat that i have so much stuff it's ridiculous um but it's actually not going to take very long at all so you got like a little kitchen there featuring krista in the bin and you got your lounge now i'm showing you the lounge hey puppy you don't want to go home either and you know we're going don't you and then we go up the stairs no 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 you know not to shut the dog down up the stairs lovely little little communal area and um, we've got bathroom please excuse the laundry because we have to uh, strip all the beds so then in here is the first bedroom da -da -da. got sky in every room which is amazing um i love that i love that in there um, nice little window seal and then through here up these little steps and then you got Double bedroom again, TV, and yeah, it's just obviously like I say, all the um, all the beds have now been stripped because of COVID restrictions and things like that. So you go down here, hello puppy, well done. Leave that like that. So yeah, it is very quaint but perfect little base for what we needed and unlike the best holiday getaway. I am still absolutely buzzing and I can't believe I'm going home with this. Can you believe I'm going home with that? I've actually got it. Girls, if you haven't got one on that finger yet, it does feel weird. I keep noticing it more than I do any other rings, even though I never usually wear... Oh no, I did have... I don't like wear a little finger ring. That one. There's something about it. It just feels a little bit weird. So yeah, I'm going home. Going home with a fiance. What have you let yourself in for? So yeah, we're uh, going to do a little walk on the way home, aren't we? Yeah. Make the most of it because we had to be checked out by 10, admittedly. Story of our lives, we are a little bit late. But we're going to go do one final walk, then head home and we'll be home in a decent time to go see the ponies. I can do them this evening. Um, I don't think I'm even going to worry about riding, if I'm quite honest. Are we ready? Ready Thank to go. Ready to go. Thank you for the most wonderful epic amazing weekend <laughs> leaving a little bit less stress than when you arrived Just a little bit. <laughs> right let's get in the car and say bye to profit's cottage isn't it profit's, uh, yeah profit's cottage uh breakfast oh yeah breakfast oh yeah we haven't eaten <laughs> i forget that you don't <laughs> Ta -da. hey let's go au revoir it's so still up here this morning. So this is where we came on the first morning on Friday when we first saw the Exmoor ponies and I obviously had to get out and see them, but it was blowing a hoolie. Whereas this morning it's just really still and calm. Nana is living her best life. I feel like I need to make a little reel. Living my best life. Um, and we're just gonna do a little circular little walk 
around to the right because we did spot some ponies so I can see them again. This is actually a bridal way. How good is that? Do you want to walk down that way? Which way? That way? Uh, yeah. yeah. Which is actually a bridal way. <laughs> oh, what dreams to make of. <laughs> Nala's greasing me up. We thought we'll give her a little run just so that she can stretch her legs before obviously the car journey home. But it's not very far, only a couple of hours. Being in Dolverton, you are literally, what, five minutes away from the mall, maybe 10 minutes. And then you're out here in the open, which is absolutely lush. Wow, my ponies! There's one having a little lie down there. Look. You're having a little sleepy girl. Now back after literally the best few days. Absolutely loved it. All back, all back, unpacked. Um, definitely nice leaving in the morning and getting back and still got a bit got a bit of the day. So we're gonna head over, see the ponies, aren't we? Are we gonna go see the ponies? Did you have fun on Exmoor? Did you? Did you? And of course coming back as a fiance. Ah! I still can't believe it, still can't believe it. I'm sorry that the vlog is a little bit all over the place. I wasn't, as I said, right at the beginning, I wasn't really wanting to vlog this weekend, which I am very thankful I am because this is obviously one of the most memorable weekends and I'm so glad that I have got a vlog to show for it, but it's a little bit disjointed and just showing you a little glimpse into our weekend. I'll probably look back and think I've actually vlogged more than what I think. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe, of course, like always. And of course, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye. What should I say? Bye. <laughs>